Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Greg Hackett here. We got the breakdown. NUA stops Fulton in the eighth round. Props to NUA. You know what I mean? Did his thing. Looked great in there. Um, I had him losing before the fight. You know what I mean? I was wrong. I said I would come on here and admit that I was wrong. You know what I mean? But it's shit. We ain't always right. You know what I mean? Um, but he looked good. Uh, one thing I noticed, he played. He plays a great game of chess. The reason I'm saying that is because the first round, he stayed behind his jab, but he picked up on a few things. What he picked up on was his speed was bothering uh, Fulton, and that it, Fulton was a little timid at times. So with that, he threw some meaningless shots, not really, not really looking to land. You know what I mean? But just really to, to see what type of reaction that he got out of Fulton. That's what I got from the first round. You know what I mean? He threw some shots, like I said, not really looking to, to, to land the shots. And some people would say, well, why would a guy throw throw a shot to to, to just throw the shot? But but it's for the exact reason, like I said, he looking to see the reaction that he get out of Fulton. Um, one thing about being a fighter, we can feel energy. You know what I'm saying? You can feel energy. From the from from the other fighter, you know what I mean, standing across from him, you can feel his 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 uh like you can feel his how how can I say it? I can feel I can basically feel like what type of groove he in, like what type of mindset he in, you know what I'm saying? I can get I can see little things if he if he a little bit worried about certain things. And I think the speed was getting to Fulton, you know what I mean, right away because it was you know, it was obvious he's never been in there with a guy that fast. Um, the second round, what Inoue did was he applied pressure right away, right from the first, the second bell. I mean, the second round bell. He applied pressure. He stepped to Stephen Fulton to, to again see see what opens up. You know what I mean? He threw some big overhand rights, some good straight right hands, some hooks. You know what I mean? He just he let his hands go, and that's one thing that I did, I like that he did. His reflexes, his timing, and everything was there. He was letting his hands go. To me, it felt like Fulton was still trying to figure him out throughout the uh, throughout the second and third round, the fourth round. Like he was, it was like he just couldn't get comfortable in there. You know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know what his camp looked like, so I can't speak on that. You know what I mean? A lot of people was asking me, "Well, what did he look like in camp? What was wrong?" And this and that. I don't know. I'm not there. You know what I mean? And I definitely, not, I'm not him, so I don't know what he was thinking about. I don't know what was going on, but from what I saw, the speed was bothering him for sure. Um, anyway. Doesn't have a problem letting his hands go. But I'm going I'm to honestly tell y'all where this shit come from. You got to study. A lot of fighters, for some reason, think it's okay. And even if it's not true, they think it's okay to say, oh, I don't watch tape. I don't watch my opponent. Mm -mm. If, if you go into war, why wouldn't you study your opposition? You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that Fulton didn't study, but anyway, definitely did study. You know what I mean? He knew he knew what Fulton would do before, you know what I mean, he got there. You know what I mean? That's the feeling I was get I was getting from him. And like I said, once he saw that the speed was bothering him, he showed him more. One thing I, I appreciated about what he did, he he kept a rhythm. He kept a rhythm going. He used his feints. He used different variations of a jab. You know what I mean? He kept stabbing that body. He kept stabbing that body. He kept sneaking that right hand in there, even when it wasn't working. Even wasn't even when it wasn't uh, landing clear. You know what I mean? He still kept throwing it. You know what I mean? He, he stayed consistent. But like I said, playing chess. Third round, he came out. He went back to boxing. He stayed relaxed. He let Fulton push that round. Now, Cool Boy's stepping forward. All right, I got you where I want you. I got you where I want you because even though you're pressing me, I know you're going to be right there. That was another thing I was noticing that uh, Cool Boy feet wasn't, it wasn't ticking at all. You know what I mean? He wasn't able to get out of there whenever he wanted at all. And it, and it was, you know, it was it was putting him in bad position. You know what I mean? Uh, and I seen, and I also seen a lot of bad posture out of uh, Fulton too. A lot of times his feet, he would cross his feet when he throws his right hand. Um, on defense, he would cross his feet 
or his feet would get too close together and he, he can't really fire because he's not in a position to fire. He had his hands up, but he couldn't really feel his legs to, to get a shot off. You know what I mean? Um, not making any excuses. It was a great fight. Um, it was a challenge for both fighters, but anyway, just with the sharper fighter, just the better fighter. You know what I mean? Like I said, he was working off his jab. Uh, he picked up the timing really easy because he, he kind of like put Fulton in a, in, a, in a space where he wasn't able to really do much. And he wasn't able to do much because anyway was reacting to most of the shit that he was trying to do. Like I said, when he would jab, you know what I mean? Anyway, he would step away from it or he would counter it. You know what I mean? And that was, I mean, it was smart, smart of him. And one thing, like I said, anyway kept doing is kept jabbing that body, kept jabbing that body. You know what I mean? And, and the speed and power together, you know what I mean? We see it creates problems for guys. One reason because when when a guy fast, you don't know where the shit coming from or how it's gonna come. You know what I mean? And it was and it was it was just it was crazy to watch it, but it was it was also interesting to see because you know what I mean. Even though, like I said before, even though even though a guy's smaller than you, don't mean you automatically could be, mean you could beat him. You know what I'm saying? Um, cool boy, I just felt like he was overthinking a lot of shit in there. I felt like he was just, you know what I mean, being hard on himself and really, you know what I mean, not just adjusting to what was in front of him. You know what I mean? I, he did, I felt like he didn't give himself too, a chance to adjust. I felt like he was just going with the tide. You know what I mean? If we're going to go this way, then we're going to go that way. Well, fuck it. He wasn't trying to break his rhythm. You know what I mean? He wasn't really trying to change the pace. Anyway, he was controlling the pace of the fight from the very beginning. You know what I mean? Probably the first 30 seconds he gained control and he and he continued to keep control throughout the fight um, with the counter and like I said, the short shots. Even on the even on the inside on the clinches, anyway would make sure he let his hands go. You know what I mean? He would he would make sure that he throw some type of shot where, you know, uh Kubwe would have to stay aware. Um one thing I didn't like Kubwe was doing, whenever anyway would throw a big shot. Kubo would get his hands up and then turn away from the action. You know what I mean? But he would stand up on his toes where he don't have any leverage to, to fire back. I felt like it was a lot of little points and times in there where Kubo could have countered anyway, but just wasn't there for him. You know what I mean? I guess he didn't see it or feel it. Now, going down the rounds, uh, anyway, started finding his mark with that right hand. You know what I mean? He was, he was landing little short jabs. Um... Stabs to the body, like I said, jab to the body was effective, very effective. I felt like he was punching the wind out of Cool Boy a little bit with the, with the jab to the body. Um, with the speed, I felt like, made Cool Boy feel like, damn, even if I try to impose my will, this guy's so fast, I can't get off. So it kind of left him stagnant, it kind of left him stuck. You know what I mean? He would, he would stand there at times where he didn't have to stand there. And that was kind of how he got caught with the last shot. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, rounds was going on. Cool boy started fighting out of desperation. He was trying to get to his mark, but it just wasn't there for him. It just wasn't happening. You know what I mean? Anyway, he was just fighting a smart fight. I, I give it to him. Uh, I said before, if when I was asked by uh, YSM, my man Jamil, he, he said, if anyway beat Cool Boy, I said, then that dude make him a bad motherfucker. And I take my hat off to him. Anyway, he's a bad motherfucker. He can fight. Um, he can definitely fight, and he definitely got the tools, and he know how to use them. Um, he know how to change the pace in the fight. He know how to change the speed on his punches. You know what I mean? He's very effective to the, to the body and to the head. Um, when he caught Cool Boy with that right hand, the finishing right hand, you know what I mean? It was with a basic stab to the body again. And then this time he snuck the right in right hand in there. He caught Cool Boy sleeping. You know what I mean? Like I said, the, the the speed had him like really stuck. Like he wasn't he he really just couldn't get out of there. You know what I mean? He got caught with a clean right hand. Right hand hurt him, of course. He jumped into a left hook. Left hook put him down. He got up. You know what I mean? He tried to continue fighting, but you know what I mean? The onslaught was a little bit too much for him. You know what I mean? It happens. It's boxing. You know what I mean? And one thing people have to understand, if you want to be great, you got to dare to be great. He dared to be great, and he fell short, but it don't take nothing away from the man. You know what I mean? I feel like he can come back and still be great, but it's some things he just got to work on in the gym and make sure, you know what I mean, he ready.
I do feel like I do feel like at times, maybe before the fight, Cool Boy may have took it anyway lightly. You know what I mean? I do I do feel like he kinda took him light. Like he kinda took him light. You know what I mean? I know I'm a giddy. Even though that's the attitude you wanna have, you wanna prepare for war. When you're preparing for war in the gym, what that means is you're preparing for anything. You know what I mean? And I think I just think he kinda took him light. You know what I mean? I think he he thought anyway would slow down and he would really get the swarming. I felt like Cool Boy punches wasn't crisp. I felt like he was looking for big shots when you aiming at a small target. You know what I mean? Whenever you aiming at a small target, you got to give me small shots. You don't want to start off with the big shots because you may not land. You know what I mean? You may not land. And if you don't land, it could wear you out. Um, I mean, just an interesting fight to see. Great matchup. You know what I mean? They put on a great show. I mean, anyway, definitely did his thing for sure. But, you know what I mean? I just feel like, you know, Cool Boy was one or two steps behind anyway when it came to this fight right here. It was it was it was crazy to see, you know what I mean? And a lot of people were saying, Greg, you being biased, you was being biased all this time. You was Listen, that's my guy. I seen him grow up. You know what I mean? I remember I literally remember when Cool Boy was like 13 years old, like 12, 13 years old, watching him fight at Front Street Gym in Philadelphia. So of course I'm going to root for him. You know what I mean? I never did I ever doubt him? No, I never doubted him. I, I thought I thought he would win the fight, but like my man uh Daniels just said, it's levels. You know what I mean? It's levels, it's levels to the shit here. And and it is. But one thing I wanna say to to all the fighters around the world, all the young fighters coming up, you have to study your opponents, man. I don't I don't care, you know what I mean, what you think you are or what you believe you are. I mean, you have to study your opponents, I man. You got to pick up on their tendencies, their habits, and, I mean, the good and bad things that they do in the ring. Um, you know what I mean? You, you, you're never too big or never too good to get your ass beat. It can happen. You know what I mean? Great fight. No, we ain't making, we ain't making no, we're not going to make no excuses. Anyway, anyway, did his thing in there. And he was letting his hands go. That was that was the most impressive thing. Like the way he was letting his hands go. He was just he would one thing anyway he was doing was making sure he touched something. Like I don't give a fuck if I got hit him on his thigh, the back of his head. I'm I'm gonna do that. You know what I mean? He did what he had to do. You know what I mean? He 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 went in there, fought his ass off, stuck to the game plan, stayed sharp. I don't know what the game plan was for Cool Boy. I really didn't get the hair. The corner, you know what I mean, speaking and shit like that, but I mean it was a lot of things he could have done differently. I I didn't see enough head movement from uh Fulton. I didn't see I didn't see him picking up on his rhythm. I seen his feet look like his feet and legs look like he was stuck in quicksand. You know what I mean? He could have moved his feet a little quicker, a little better. You know what I mean? He he was jumping straight back at times. That was getting him caught up with shots. Um he wasn't reacting. You know what I mean? His reflexes look off. Everything just look a step off. And it could and it could happen like that. You know what I mean? It could happen like that. I never I never seen him coming. I never seen it coming. Um I never thought it would happen him neither, him getting stopped. You know what I mean? I know anybody can lose, but I ain't see the stoppage coming. I ain't gonna lie. That that was the impressive part though. You know what I mean? Anyway, anyway is a, a true animal. He is a true animal. You know what I mean? He 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 understands boxing. He understands what it is to get the job done. You know what I mean? He he, he did what he got to do. I mean, the counter, the jab, that's why I'm saying your feet got to be working. Anyway, it's so fast. If you stand right in front of him, you won't be able to counter the jab all the time. So it's really a, a, a matter of distance. You, you, you got to make sure... You gotta make sure you in range but out of range at the same time. You don't wanna be too close. You don't wanna be too close to a guy like anyway, especially when he letting his hands go like that. You know what I mean? The reason I'm speaking like this and the reason I'm uh I'm not reading too many of the comments is because, you know what I mean, I ain't gonna be on there too long. I gotta get to bed. What's popping? You know what I mean? I gotta get to bed, but you know what I mean I wanted to come on here and bless y'all. Cause I said I would. You know what I mean? I ain't the type of guy to run from no smoke. 
It is what it is. I definitely had Cool Boy win in the fight before the fight, and he won. And, and I'm giving my props to to uh, anyway for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, he wasn't moving enough. He he looked stiff. He looked like stiff, like all the way through the four rounds, like the first four rounds. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. You win something, you lose some. You know what I mean? That's the game, man. You know what I mean? The best thing, the best thing for him to do. But the best thing for him to do is get back in the lab and come back stronger. You feel me? I appreciate y'all for tapping in with me for sure. For sure, for sure. You know what I mean? Y'all know me. I'm going to get back on here. I'm, I'm definitely going to tap in with the people. You feel me? I had a late night. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm getting on here so late. But And I wish I could stay longer. But you know what I mean? I'm here right now. And I'm going to hold it down while I'm here. I noticed his stance was very wide. stance was definitely wide. You know what I mean, I felt like he was trying to get low. You know what I mean? To, to gain some leverage. But at the same time, his feet. Feet just wasn't working. He wasn't able to get out quick enough. You know what I mean? He was like I said, he was reacting like a, like a, like a two seconds later, a second later, a little second too slow. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who do you think anyway should fight next? I'm thinking Figueroa or Gary Russell. Twenty six. I mean, anyway, anyway, got the ball in his court right here, right now. He got the ball in his court right now, so I don't know. He can fight anybody, man. They said he's going to try to go for Undisputed at 22. I ain't mad at that. He, he definitely, he definitely going to be tough to beat, especially if you don't study your opponents. If you don't study a guy like anyway, if you don't really understand what it is, that you have in front of you, and you're gonna be in trouble. And the thing is, I feel like with with anyway, he studied uh, Fulton and he understood what he had in front of him, and he know, and he know that he knew that Fulton is an aqua fighter, and he knew, you know, what I mean that he definitely a dog. So he got ready. You know what I mean? He made the best man win. That's how the game go. You know what I mean? I mean, anyway, one thing I ain't know about anyway, I ain't know he was 30 years old, so it's time for him to move up. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to be able to make them small weights forever. Yeah. I mean, like I said, we could be wrong. I was wrong. I had Cool Boy winning. I was wrong. You know what I mean? I ain't the first person to be wrong, and I won't be the first person to re be right. But I'm going to definitely get on here and talk my shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to definitely get on here and talk my shit, for sure. I ain't scared of nobody. Yeah, but he, he put in, he, he studied his opponent, put in, put in great weight. Great, great work. We tried to tell y'all it's not a race thing. No, we ain't never try to make it about race. We just, what you got to understand is, right, we from Philadelphia, man. It's a lot of pride when it comes to Philadelphia. Another thing is, that's our guy. So we going to stand, that we going to stand with our guy. And I'm still standing with him. You know what I mean? I ain't going to fold on him just because he lost a fight. It happens. It's the game. Only, only motherfuckers who never fought or never boxed before, they, don't, they won't understand. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if the motherfucker was an alien. I'm still going to stand with my guy. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm going to stand with my guy, bro. I'm from Philly. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what it is. If you from Philly, I'm rocking. You know what I mean? That's just how it go. Right or wrong. You know what I mean? Win or lose. Good or bad. I'm rocking. Them saying that 
you notice that most you more you notice that most Philly fighters talk a lot. Cut it out. Fighters talk shit all from all over the world. One of the biggest shit talkers was from the UK. You know what I mean? Nassim Hamed. You know what I mean? He was one of the biggest shit talkers in boxing ever. Like, that don't got nothing to do with nothing. You know what I mean? It's the game. You know what I mean? If you're confident in, in, in what you're doing, then you're confident in what you're doing. If you lose, you get better and you come back. What you gonna do? Fulton don't train in my gym, though. What's popping? What's going on? We here. Yeah, anyway, he did what he was supposed to do. He took a he took a chance. He took a chance every 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 situation in that ring that you could be in. Anyway, he took a chance. He fired. You know what I mean? I like him. He the kid is tough. Definitely tough. Definitely sharp. Great timing. You know what I mean? He just was on point. He was on point. You know what I mean? Everything was rolling for him. Which style would give any way problems? I'm I'm gonna keep it real. If you're gonna fuck with any way, you your timing, you have to have great timing. You gotta have great timing. You gotta have a, a great timing like Shakur got great timing. You gotta have that type of timing. Where you could take a half step back and pick a guy, you know what I mean, and touch him. You know what I mean? With an uppercut, hook, something, anything. You gotta have great time if you fuck on anyway. You can't you can't just go in there half stepping. I'm being honest. You know what I mean? But he bring he bring everything to the table. You know what I mean? He's an exciting fighter. I do give him that. He's very active. You know what I mean? He's very active. And he got a super quick twitch in there. You know what I mean? I wish Rigo wasn't 800 years old. <laughs> can anyway beat Tank at 130? I don't think anyway could beat Tank, though. Tank, different dude. Tank is a different dude, bro. And then you talking about the punches. Like, both of them got crazy power, but Tank, I think Tank power a little different. But they both got power. I ain't gonna lie. And my man say he lost 10K, man. I'm sorry about that, bro. Yeah, I think Tink too big and strong for him. Cool boy need me to be his trainer. I mean, we got to talk. No, we was we was all in the gym at one time together, but we we, we don't train together. No, we're not all at the same gym right now. They've been, they've been away from my gym for like a year, maybe more. Yeah, you gotta study, bro. <laughs> anyway, you gotta fight boots. <laughs> yeah, anyway, definitely getting stronger as he go up for sure. You gotta study though. I mean, it's a lot of guys running around not studying. It's a lot of guys running around not owning their craft. You know what I mean? You got to get better. You can't just keep doing the same shit over and over and over. No, you got to get better. And each fight is going to be different, so you got to prepare for that. I don't give a fuck. If you fight the same guy three times, each fight is, is going to be different. What's going on? What's popping? Yeah, you got to charge to the game. You know what I mean? I'm not there pushing buttons. I mean, I'm all the way over here with y'all in the States. I was just a witness. Was popping, still rocking. That's what I'm saying, dude. People... People want me to fold on him because he took an L. Like, I, I ain't that kind of person. Like, I was rocking before this fight. I'm rocking after it. Yeah, if I can make 122, I definitely will fight him. Hell yeah. If I can make 122, hell yeah, I will fight him. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? If I can make 122, you know I'll fight him. I don't give a fuck. 
You know what I mean? Cool boy, he, he, he sucked it up like a man. You know what I mean? Pause. You know what I mean? Took it like a man. He said it was all me. He ain't blame his team. You know what I mean? He ain't blame no outside issues. You know what I mean? He said it was me. I made the mistakes tonight. You know what I mean? And you gotta, gotta give it to him for that. Being a man. You know what I mean? Being a man. Took the charges. We gonna do the time. You already know. If I go get the body and I get down to 22, I'm a cookie. You know I'm a cookie. You know I'm a cookie. Put some shit on him. <laughs> 122 is wild. I die. I die trying to make 122. <laughs> Real shit. No, nah, he a great fighter. I give it to you, man. Hats off to anyway. Give him a bow and all that. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, you know I mean, I'll go over there and give you a job real quick. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Never take your eyes off your opponent type joint. <laughs> Shit, I wish I could make 130. Shit, I'm like 205 right now. Gorilla. That'll be a great job. <laughs> No, I look like I'm on crack, man. How come he didn't pressure him and throw more? I don't know. I wasn't there. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Would I fight Joshua? I'll fight Joshua for 10 million. 10 million, I'll fight Joshua. And they got to give me three months so I get my body right. I got to get stronger. I'll fight Josh with $10 million. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely fight Josh for $10 million. And we can go to Dubai. I'm only 5'6". I'll fight Josh for $10 million. You feel me? Adrian Peterson, I remember him. I remember Adrian Peterson. He said Fury wouldn't even fight Joshua for 10 million. <laughs> Who BC in any way at 26? That might be. <laughs> yo, yo, that's crazy because I didn't even think about that, but that might be next. Yeah, you got to study, bro. Got to study your opponent. A lot, of, a lot of dudes be talking about they don't watch tape and this and that, but gotta study. I mean, what you think? What you do you do after you recover? I mean, I, I would say get back in the gym and, and work on your craft. So I'm gonna send you the film after the fight. Second match of the tournament, one and so far. Yo, man, good shit, Marcus. Keep doing your thing, bro. Keep pushing. Stay sharp. Let your hands go. Smash that like button, man. I appreciate y'all. We got 290 people with here, 88 likes. Let's fucking get it. I appreciate y'all, man. I'm Greg Hackett. You can hit me on Greg Hackett 86 on Instagram, Greg Hackett 215 on Twitter, Greg Hackett on Facebook. Get fucking with me, man. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. It's late. I'm going to go ahead and give me some shout out. You know what I mean? I'll get with y'all tomorrow for sure. Tap right back in. You know I mean, do some more videos and shit like that. Get with me. Thank you. Holla at y'all.